106. I never thought I would weigh over 100, not even 80. And look at me now, I'm 106, Emma. So by the end of the year, I would have weighed 180. My name is Wema Isaac Sepetu. I am former Miss Tanzania 2006, CEO of Endless Fame Production and an actress. Viva Serenity is my wellness partner and I also happen to be the brand ambassador. This is the story of a young woman who became famous at the age of 19. I've been under the struggle for weight loss for about four years now and um, it has really affected me as a person and my whole life as a whole and um, after I tried out working out I tried eating right and it hasn't been working out for me ladies and gentlemen I stand here today as a brand new Wema Sepetu a lady full of compassion full of joy and full of pride. As the limelight shone on her young life as Miss Tanzania, actress and business owner, every move she made was monitored, judged, celebrated, discussed and criticized by people. From falling in love, public breakups, a glamorous celebrity life and sometimes the dark side, Wema was unafraid to share her life. For a very long time I lost passion for myself and I lost confidence and I became, I became not happy about myself and it made me lose so much in life and I am now just down to what am I going to do, so. Away from the public, there was one weighty matter that dragged her down, her weight. Wema had over time gained weight and was having a difficult time accepting the weighing scales reading of 106 kilograms from 59 kilograms. She decided to look for a permanent solution and publicly talk about her struggles in a society where many men and women have body insecurity, body shaming and relationship issues. I am tired. She traveled from Tanzania to Kenya after finally finding a solution in bariatric surgery through Viva Serenity, an internationally trusted medical tourism company that connects patients with the right treatment centers, hospitals and medical specialists, both locally and abroad. Through Viva Serenity, Wema had not only found a permanent solution, but also got a brand ambassadorship position with Viva. She would represent Viva in regard to the bariatric surgery program as a wellness ambassador, having gone through the bariatric surgery herself. She was going to encourage those who have challenges with obesity to know that bariatric surgery can be the solution for those who have tried other weight loss methods such as diet and exercise without success. Wema would also represent Viva in events and other media platforms, sharing the message of hope to many struggling with weight loss. As Viva's brand ambassador and in style with Viva's vision and mission, Wema enjoyed a full sponsorship and all costs related to her weight loss journey covered by Viva. On Friday, 25th May 2018, Wema arrived in Nairobi on a business ticket from Dar es Salaam. Here, she was picked by VIP transport and booked at the Ole Sereni presidential suite. All transport requirements, including visas, VIP airport transfers at all airports in Kenya and India, had already been taken care of by Viva. After settling down, all pre-surgical tests were done in Kenya, with initial tests done at the Ole Sereni presidential suite. Bariatric surgery... Uh different from you know we also have plastic surgery where people go do body modification and all those kind of things uh, liposuction, all those kind of many things but for bariatric specifically we have uh, different types of bariatric surgery but at viva we most of our clients have gone through the gastric bypass 
where uh, the stomach uh, will be reduced in volume, in size, and also bypass some parts of the small intestine, like the jejunum. What happens when we bypass these uh, parts of the small intestine? The body absorbs less calories. Oema has been uh, a client at Viva. She came to us, of course, um, with the weight, overweight, uh, as an issue. And of course, somebody of her status, uh, you know that's a matter of concern. You always have to appear on TV, hear functions and every other things. So the physical appearance of, is of importance. From our uh, nutrition assessment and nutrition review, she was classified as a candidate for a bariatric surgery. That's 35. Yeah, almost 35. The obese range starts from 30. Mm. So essentially, it says that you are obese. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, obesity is not a good thing. It's not. Yeah. I never imagined myself there. Never. Yeah. I once weighed 59 kgs, doc. 59. 59. Yes, 5'9. Would you like to get somewhere close? Yes! Yes! It's possible. Oh, yes, I would. That yeah. would make me so happy. It's possible if you go through the procedure. I can't wait. I really can't. So I added like 50 kgs? 59, yeah, almost. Almost half of your weight. What have I been eating? <laughs> what have I been eating? I want to check your blood pressure. Okay. Yes. Let's see how it goes. With professional medical consultation and a dedicated team, Wema was set to go through bariatric surgery. Uh, bariatric surgery, uh, different from, you know, we also have plastic surgery where people go do body modification and all those kind of things, uh, liposuction, all those kind of many things. But for bariatric specifically, we have uh, different types of bariatric surgery. But at Viva, we, most of our clients have gone through the gastric bypass where uh, the stomach uh, will be reduced in volume, in size, and also bypass some parts of the small intestine, like the jejunum. What happens when we bypass these uh, parts of the small intestine? The body absorbs less calories. I'd say counselling is really um, important when it comes to surgeries, basically a programme like this one for wellness. And in general, I think all surgery patients should go through counselling, one, because it prepares you psychologically. Um, having interacted with people who are going through um, surgery, 
there's so many questions they have like how should I uh, be prepare myself before that what should I expect um, what of the outcome and so when you take a client through surgery you I mean through counseling you understand their psychological angle on how they look at this thing how they face it what they what their fears are how are they anxious about the whole process and how can you help them to develop a very safe uh, environment for themselves before traveling to India Wema had a warm send-off dinner held in her honor where she officially signed and became a Viva brand ambassador for Viva's bariatric surgery program. Of course I would recommend Viva Serenity to anyone. It's like the best. I thank Viva Serenity for giving me such an opportunity. Her confidence about the procedure was also boosted by interacting with other people at the dinner like Big Ted who successfully underwent the same procedure. I am so excited. I cannot wait. I am not nervous at all. I'm looking forward to the to the procedure because I know the aftermath is going to be really nice. And yeah, trust me, excitement is an understatement. So I can't wait. With everything taken care of, all she needed to do now was focus on recovering after the procedure and not where to go for treatment or how to get there. After the procedure, I am, I am hoping to achieve a better WEMA. I am hoping to look good, feel good about myself, gain my confidence because once upon a time I was very confident and then I lost it um, somewhere, somewhere in between. <laughs> And now I am looking forward to getting it back. I am looking forward to a more active um, WEMA. I'm looking forward to more projects. Um, and I am looking forward to just embracing my beauty because I am so sure I'm going to look finer and I am going to look better. And I am I'm just going to, to reach there, going to reach my goals. Uh, after the surgery, automatically, you lost totally still like nothing because that was just something to let you uh, like a preparation to prepare you along the way now this is the life that you want you to live and this is how you'll be doing the things to make sure that you come back to what you want if you are uh, a, a person maybe you are a three digits a person like kgs now we want to come back to a two digits kgs person so the most important thing here first to look at is to make sure that at least your mental um, muscles have to be prepared, you have to prepare myself, yourself fully so that this is the journey, this is a long term, this is the way that I want to go. I'm not just going to walk in from Viva and come out and start relaxing. I want to come out from Viva, come back and now reschedule myself properly but now this is the lifetime that I want to live. Unlike many people who end up in the wrong hands, Wema had found a team whose sole purpose was her well-being. Hey. A team that values her and would be in constant communication with her and her loved ones every step of the way towards her recovery. I see Wema going international now and I see a more focused Wema, I see, I see a proud Wema, proud of myself, and um, I see more projects when it comes to my career. Because once upon a time, I was, I was very, I was not um, liking the cameras, because now I don't like the person that I look in front of the cameras. So I see, I see more projects. I see. I see a Wema in a whole other level. I am more than a sitter. Hmm. Kali tuko shona taka kuvumbua nini? Hmm. 
niko hapa namwambia namwambia doctor tuondoke sasa hivi tunasubiria nini tuondoke nao <laughs> um, I chose Viva Serenity as my wellness partner because first I feel very safe with them and um, this journey is very personal to me and I wanted to work with people that I could trust and who are willing to walk through the journey with me and I just I just trust them as a company Viva Serenity is my wellness partner and I also happen to be the brand ambassador. Full of hope and confident about the procedure, Wema was flown to India for bariatric surgery. As a beauty queen and former Miss Tanzania, conscious of body marks and scars, Wema's procedure was special. She was going to have advanced bariatric surgery in India, a single incision advanced robotic mini gastric bypass. The single incision robotic surgery would leave a barely visible scar and she could still rock her beach wear with confidence. The ultimate uh, goal and aim with our patients is the total behavior change. It's not just a one-time thing uh, because uh, beyond the surgery, we also have to inculcate the habit of healthy dieting, healthy eating, physical activity. And so as a client comes to Viva with uh, bariatric surgery in mind, uh, she needs to, uh, he or she needs to expect uh, some t modification in the diet some modification in the intake. For example, after the surgery, we'll introduce food gradually. When you go for the surgery, we'll slowly introduce you on fluid diets, maybe for one, two weeks. You know, with on fluid diet for one, two weeks, that alone will help you achieve uh, almost 10% of weight loss within that first two weeks, because you'll only be on a fluid diet. Her surgery was successful. All she needed to do was recover and follow the doctor's instructions after the surgery. Oh my gosh, I've just been screaming out, yay! I'm so excited. All right then, no worries. Um, you can text me, um, call me anytime. I will be there to listen to you and I am looking forward and I cannot wait. I'm just counting days, oh my God, my days are numbered. <laughs> My days are numbered and I'm going to look so much better. I mean, trust me, I have no idea what you're going to do to my career. It's going to bring so much change. I am going to look so, so beautiful in front of the camera. I cannot wait. So, yeah. I see myself um, focusing on my health. I will... Now I will be confident when I put on my gym clothes and go to the gym. I will eat right and just be cautious about myself. I will, I will pay more attention to myself. Wow, I can tell you that uh, it's, it's an awesome experience to witness her before and see her present state. It's uh, almost like a fairy tale because uh, at our first encounter, she was having that, you know, weight issue, self-perception, body image. But now you see her, it's, it's, it's almost like a fairy tale, just as I mentioned, because right now she's almost attained a stable weight at 65 kgs. Back at home after the surgery, Wema had a post-surgical follow-up that included the Viva medical team traveling to Dar es Salaam to check up on the patient a month after the surgery and support her by connecting her to more patients like Khadija who had undergone the same procedure. After a long and unsuccessful effort to lose weight, Wema finally found a solution that works. 
one that involved choosing her above everything else and taking good care of herself. Her confidence and her life are restored with amazing results. Mm -hmm.